What's up guys and welcome to a very relaxed edition of Do More Life here. Uh, in this video we're going to be talking about how Thailand and COVID mix like oil and water. In other words, they don't mix. Um, this is something that I've been observing over really the past year uh well not quite a year but almost a year since everything started since the first um cases of covid appeared um and the first lockdowns occurred back then uh to my fellow thai vloggers and audience the um government has put out an issue stating that you cannot call what is going on in Thailand right now a lockdown even though um, there are travel restrictions in some provincial areas uh, according to integrity legal there are legal ramifications for using uh, the term lockdown so um, I will not say Thailand is in a lockdown right now I will stay I will say that um, Thailand has several um, provinces that are highly controlled. Um, but moving away from that, um, the reason Thailand and, and COVID uh, doesn't mix um, is because no matter what people say, I have found this country to rely heavily on tourism and I don't just mean the tourism like you come over you go to the beach um, tourism you come over and you spend all your money in Pattaya or Phuket or Bangkok or you go to the islands um, off of Kri or you're in uh, Koh Samui or you're in a vacation hotspot a tourist trap that's not what I'm referring to I mean that a lot of BOI, um, a lot of businesses come over here that are foreign companies. And um, I consider that, I consider that part of the overall aspect of tourism. When you have foreigners in your country, um, I consider it tourism, whether it's doing business or not. The reason the economy, in my opinion, is hurting uh, so bad right now in Thailand is because it's hard to get in and out of Thailand right now uh, due to travel restrictions. It's hard um, for these investors that want to come in and want to spend money in Thailand. It's hard for them to get in and get out right now. Um, it's also really difficult for your average tourist. Um, that wants to come and take a long vacation um, or potentially come here for retirement. Even harder for those that want to come here and go to work like on a non-B uh, immigrant visa such as people like myself that teach um, or do other um, random jobs around Thailand. It's difficult and I don't feel like this country was set up for um, this type of event. I don't think any country really wasn't set up for this type of event. But Thailand itself um, seems to be doing an excellent job when uh, there's a major problem somewhere, uh, when cases are discovered. They do a good job on tracking and tracing and closing it down, but there's a certain level in the culture here that is a, it's it's comparative to paranoia. I'm not calling the people of Thailand paranoid. I'm saying that that's the kind of mind frame it puts me in is the uh, the mind frame of paranoia. Um, until they have a definitive uh, cure for COVID and the problems associated with it, I think you're going to see uh, a very 
hurting and somewhat struggling country. I really wish that weren't the case because I want to be clear. I love Thailand. Um, I love being here. I live and work here. Um, there is really no other place on earth I would rather be right now. I think that this is one of the safest uh, countries I've been to, especially in Southeast Asia. Um, definitely uh, one of the more safer countries. I love it here, but I'm concerned um, because I see what's hap what happens every time um, we get a new COVID case. Um, and I mean a case. I'm not talking about like full-blown spread or anything. The people are extremely concerned when that happens, and rightfully so, but it's a concern that I cannot wrap my mind around. Um, at this point, for me, I'm not really scared of the disease anymore. Yes, I don't want it. Um, I, I do take protective measures, wear masks, that kind of thing. Not to get it. I'm not saying I want it by any means. Um, but what I am saying is I'm more scared of the damage uh, that the disease is doing to the culture of not just Thailand, but other nations as well. Um, than I am of the disease itself. And I've never felt that way before about a disease illness or um, anything like that. I just, I've never had that feeling. So I hope that um, the millions and millions of uh, different uh, vaccines that Thailand has ordered will come soon. Um, I hope that other countries will be uh, pumping out the magic shot, as we like to call it, um, as soon as possible. And let's get the globe back to traveling and doing some tourism because um, even here, domestic travel has suffered uh, tremendously. There are businesses here that are shut down that will not come back. Um, that is super unfortunate. During the almost six months where there were no cases of COVID here in Thailand um, after the first initial wave, um, businesses had started to return. They were growing again. That You could see, you could feel the change in the environment, in the culture, what was going on. You, you could, you could, there was a sense in the air of the uh, well-being of Thailand coming back. And it was so pleasurable to be able to um, be a part of that. And it's going to come back again. I know it will. I know at least the nightlife, entertainment, um, those areas of Thailand will definitely come back. There are certain areas, such as uh, certain beaches and islands in Thailand, that will always be tourist attractions, um, that will always bring in people. But to get it back where it needs to be, um, we've either got to do one of two things. Learn to live with this illness um, and get some treatments for it, or um, we have to find... Uh, a cure that's pretty much the entire um, the only two options that, that I know of that's that's it that's um, that's all I know is you either learn to live with it or um, you find a cure for it and the cure exists um, apparently and now it's a matter of getting the cure to the people that need it the most, and then the trickle-down effect should come. And as that trickle-down effect should come, uh, hopefully Thailand will pick back up because I really want to see this country flourish. I want to see them do so well again. Um, I'm happy to be here. Uh, I'm not scared when I go outside uh, or when I walk around. Um, 
I think that recently Thailand has done an exceptional job of rounding up people that maybe don't care as much about other people and want to make sure that they're having fun and it could be at the expense of someone else's life. We don't know. Um, I'm not here to criticize or judge. I'm just here to tell you how I feel um, about the situation. And currently, it's just not mixing in Thailand. Uh, it's like oil and water. It's just not mixing. So my hope is that things will get back on track soon. Um, I would love to see expats return. Uh, some of the expats have returned already, but um, I also think that Thailand is going to, I feel like they will have to do some different things with visa schemes uh, for tourists, which they've already done in terms of the uh, special tourist visa and the 45-day uh, visa. Um, and they'll do more, I think. I think they'll do more to bring back tourism because... At the end of the day, 20% um, or 22% of the nation's GDP is tourism. And if you go to a city like Pattaya, uh, Pattaya, for example, 80% um, of that city's GDP is from tourism. So it's very important economically uh, to, to not drain all the resources Thailand has because you don't want to see this is a developing country and I don't want to see it go backwards I want to see it continue to go forward and um, I just want everybody to know that uh, please try to do your part in whatever country you're in especially if you're here in Thailand um, try to do your part to help with the recovery um, try to do your part in not only this country and other countries and helping small businesses, um, supporting them, buying their stuff instead of these big box stores um, and other places that uh, don't care about you at all. Uh, there is no customer uh, satisfaction um, guarantee either or, or if there is it's just the money back you're never going to talk to a person that kind of thing and that's the thing that I, I like about small businesses particularly here in Thailand there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one interaction and you get a lot of satisfaction from that so with that being said guys I hope you're having a great day and whatever you do today please be sure to do more life